Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones Day Trade Setups for today. So, um, yeah, we had a range bar and then a rejection bar pretty much off this zone. And I say zone, we'll probably see it clearer on the three hour, but you can see in between. 37.283 and 37.212 there's clearly some buying interest here so we had a range bar and then we had this uh, pin bar off there and uh, it's it's quite a decent pin bar it's not something which is screaming at me pin bar but the tail is longer than the body so that does indicate something but if you look at the oscillate actually the moving averages we have crossed over here so I'm not entirely sure that it's going to hold and I'm also not entirely sure that it's going to break so that to me just indicates we are still ranging on the 8th hour and I need to make my decisions based on that so oscillators are heading down at the moment um, they've eased off from the top quite nicely not quite oversold but definitely heading in that direction and uh, as we get to the 3 hour oh, that's a bit in your face um, excuse the background noise dog can't get comfortable um, so you'll see the bottom of the zone actually extends a little bit further it's right over there at 37193 so if we come back to where we are now have a look at the oscillators first they have crossed over they are pointing up they are extremely oversold we have rejection bar from the top and then we have rejection bar from the bottom so half decent pin bar here cross over the moving averages and we blow the 150 so looking at from the three hour there is potential to think that this thing is moving to the downside but just bear in mind we've been going above and below the moving averages most of last week so take it with a pinch of salt right now and this was pretty much a gap trade uh, you can see the well, they didn't even close the gap so that means they were looking at this pin bar here and uh, there's something that I'm really noticing quite a lot uh, the last month or so is pin bars have just become more important in my trading strategies than ever before because you can see there's a the tail of a pin bar and lots of other structure in between you can see there here you go back a bit further there was tops of pin bars there but for some reason there are certain pin bars which price gravitates to and uh, typically uh, rejects them especially when you've broken below a tail like that so um, just keep that in the back of your mind it's uh, I haven't figured out which pin bars are important but we will figure that out eventually but at the moment that is kind of what's going on now look at the hour and you're going to see even more confusion so I suppose it's a bit better than what was on the DAX and the S&P 500 because it was in a downward trend on the hour so you know, looking at the gap and I just want to look left here to see see there's another pin bar there um, there's not much else but you get what I'm getting at the pin bars clearly of interest and nothing really that shows me that I would have actually got that right um, and bear in mind I sat, sat out of this at the moment so at the moment this is kind of like a hindsight look uh, we do have diversions you can see price making lows and then oscillator making a high and we do have this pretty solid proper looking pin bar off structure being 37283 and you can see how buyers came in off that so it's either profit taking or definitely people that are getting ready to to scale in but we are below the moving average so i will take that with a big pinch of salt at the moment let's get down to the 15 minutes and just see firstly from a hindsight perspective it was clearly clearly some interest in this area 37.558 and 
37527 is the area and you can see how we got going into the space and where did we okay so the open was here dropped first bias came in we are below the, the 150 EMA so and I suppose the minute we started seeing these tails it probably was a short looking for the zone to the downside anyway so for me today I'm still very skeptical of shorting this and I'm also very skeptical of buying at the moment because it does look like we are very confused and we don't know where we're going and uh, as long as that is happening I think the safest bet is to stay out of this we do have some data coming out today um, I think it's retail sales for the US and then CPI for Europe and that may be some sort of a catalyst to to drive sentiment right now sentiment is we don't know when the rate cuts are coming that's kind of what it boils down to so uh, the big climb that we've had we've gone to the three hours so this big move up actually is better on the eight hour so this big move up was uh, rate uh, rate hikes have finished we're going to cut rates and that's how it goes for so many weeks and then it gets to a point when everybody says okay so when are we going to cut rates and uh, the Fed start playing it down and saying oh well, we don't know maybe you know 2025 uh, uh, we haven't we're not sure yet etc and then the whole market just goes sideways so that's kind of what's played out um, there's been I mean, there's wars going on. There's uh, probably a new war in the Middle East that's going to kick off um, with what's going on with the Houthi rebels um, and Iran attacking Iraq and Iran attacking ships in the in the Red Sea. Uh, so, uh, I think the safest bet here is just to sit back and just wait for this chaos to. To resolve itself before actually looking for something because I don't think you're going to get an opportunity at the moment now if we do break below this zone that I've given you at 37193 and 37283 we'd want to see a proper rejection there and then we can start looking for shorts I think that is probably you know, that's the only thing that is really clear because you can see how solid that zone is if we break through it come back and test it then you have the opportunity for shorts but I can't see the bulls giving up all these gains that they've had at the moment so unfortunately we're going to have to wait and see and um, the only time long is going to actually start coming into play is a break and retest of 37.527 so that's kind of where my mind is at the moment so we'll be sitting on the side anyway Hope it helps you and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.